Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan and in this video I am going to show you two ways to transfer files from a USB flash to iPhone or iPad. With these two methods you can transfer your photos, videos, contacts, documents from a USB flash to iPhone or iPhone to USB flash. So please watch this video till the very end and I'll show you everything step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost you anything. So with that being said, the intro. Okay, our first method is using SanDisk iX Pen pen drive to transfer files to your iOS device. So here I have a pen drive made by SanDisk and it's made for iPhone and iPad. This pen drive is available in different sizes from 16GB all the way up to 128GB. I will leave the link of this product in the description below just in case you want to check it out. So as you can see with this pen drive you can do a lot of great stuff like if your iPhone is running out of storage you can free up some space by transferring your iPhone data to this pen drive. You can also back up your iPhone photos or videos to this pen drive. Once you have backed up to this pen drive, you can either transfer it to another iOS device or transfer it to your computer. So as you can see, one side of this pen drive is Lightning which is made for iPhone and iPad and the other side is USB 3.0 which is made for PC or Mac. All right. You can copy files to this pen drive from your PC or Mac. Once you have file in this pen drive, you can easily transfer it to your iPhone or iPad. Alright, now let me show you how you can use this pen drive. Okay, first of all, you need to install an app on your iOS device. So just go to App Store and search for SanDisk iX Pen Drive. This is the app name with the logo. So just download and install this app in your iPhone. After that, just connect this pen drive to your iOS device and it's gonna ask for the permission all you need to do is just tap on allow and it's gonna automatically open the app this is the interface of the app as you can see here you have three options first option is copying files second option is seeing the files that are stored inside this pen drive and the last option is backup and restore i will talk about backup and restore later but first let's see what do we have inside this pen drive so as you can see here, I have a lot of files, different kind of files stored in this pen drive. So let's see what we have in this Word document. As you can see, you can easily access this document from here. If you want to save it, just tap on this upload button and save it to your documents or Dropbox or wherever you want. If you want to transfer photos or videos from this pen drive to your iPhone, all you need to do is just select the photos or videos that you want. So let's say I want to select these photos and also I'm going to select this video if you want to save these photos and videos all you need to do is just tap on more options and it's going to give you an option to save to your iPhone so it's saying my iPhone is low on storage so I'm just going to say yes proceed please now it's copying the files okay now three files is copied so let's see let's go to photos folder and as you can see these are the photos and this is the video so let's say what do we have in music folder as you can see here are the mp3 files that are stored inside this pen drive but the bad thing about this pen drive is it doesn't allow you to save music to your iPhone's Apple music you can access this music directly from here but you cannot save it to your iPhone's music app okay that was transferring files from this pen drive to your iPhone but now let me show you how you can transfer data from your iPhone to this pen drive. In order to do that, just tap on copy files. In my case, I'm going to transfer photos from my iPhone to this pen drive. So I'm going to select first option, select the photos. So in my case, I'm going to select these two photos. You can select whatever option you want. So in my case, I'm going to select these two photos just to save time. Now you can save your selected files directly to this pen drive or you can create a new folder and paste inside it. So in my case, I'm just going to copy inside of this pen drive so let's see what do we have here and as you can see these are the photos that were copied from my iPhone now let me show you how you can backup and restore your contacts and calendars to this pen drive to do that just tap on backup and restore and now it gives you three options to backup and restore your data first option is backup and restore your photo library if you select the first option and here you have an option to turn on automatic backup or not if you turn on this switch 
it's gonna start backing up all your photos and videos to this pen drive so I'm just gonna turn it off just to save your time so the second option is backing up your social media when you tap on this as you can see it will allow you to back up all your photos videos from your Facebook account Instagram account or your Google photos and the third option is very handy this pen drive also allows you to back up and restore your contacts and calendars so when you tap on this and here you have two tabs if you want to back up your calendar just tap on backup and it's gonna start backing up if you want to back up your contacts just switch to context menu and after that tap on backup and it's gonna load all your contacts select all these and archive contacts and it's gonna start backing up your contacts okay once you have backed up your contacts you can either transfer it to another iOS device or you can save it to your computer that's all and one of the best feature of this pen drive is it allows you to take photos or videos and save directly to this pen drive in order to do that here's a camera icon just tap on it and you can take photos or videos whatever you want and it's gonna be saved into your pen drive instead of saving in your iPhone okay our second method is using SanDisk wireless pen drive to transfer data this pen drive is my favorite gadget so far with this pen drive you can exchange data between three devices simultaneously and this pen drive is also available in different sizes from 16 gigabytes all the way up to 256 gigabytes i will also leave the link of this pen drive in the description below just in case you want to check it out so this pen drive has wireless functionality in it in order to use it first you need to charge it for about two hours once it's fully charged you can use it for four hours continuously you can charge this pen drive with your computer or any smartphone charger that has usb port on it so in order to use this pen drive first of all you need to turn on the wi-fi on it here's the switch just press and hold on it and white led will start blinking which means it's on once it's on now go to your iphone go to your wi-fi now connect wi-fi which is coming from this pen drive so here it is sandisk connect okay once connected open up your app store and search for sandisk connect drive here's the app you just need to download this app in order to use this pen drive once the app is installed just open it up now you can see these are the files that are stored inside this pen drive. When you have files inside this pen drive, you can transfer it to three devices at the same time. First of all, let me show you how you can transfer data from this pen drive to your iOS device. So here are the files that are stored inside this pen drive. So I'm just gonna select some of them. You can select whatever you want. After that, here's an option, just tap on it. And it's gonna give you an option to save to your iPhone's camera roll. Now it's saved, now let's see. As you can see, these are the photos that were copied from this pen drive. In order to transfer files to this pen drive, all you need to do is tap on this plus sign over here. Now it's gonna load all the photos or videos from your iPhone. Now just select the ones that you want to transfer. So in my case, I'm going to transfer these photos. Tap on this red button. Now select the place that you want to save these pictures. In my case, I'm going to save it inside a new folder called blah blah blah. And I'm going to paste over here. Okay, now it's completed. Now, as you can see, these were the pictures that were copied from my iPhone. Now, let me show you other features of this pen drive. When you click on menu, at the bottom it shows how much battery it, this pen drive has and also storage of your iPhone and storage left in this pen drive. This pen drive also has an option to automatically back up your iPhone's photos to this pen drive. Uh, I've tried it myself, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, so I can't really say anything about it. But you can back up your contacts to this pen drive. Once you have backed up your contacts, you can either transfer it to another iOS device or you can transfer those contacts to an Android device. Okay, to do that, first of all, go to settings. Now scroll all the way down. Here you have backup option under contacts. Just tap on it and select your contacts. After that, tap on backup and it's gonna start backing up your contacts. 
So as I said before, once you backed up your context to this pen drive, you can either save it to your computer or you can transfer it to another iPhone or Android device. So there you have it guys, that is how you can transfer files from a USB flash to iPhone or iPad using these two methods. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel with notification on. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a very nice day.